Home buyers, you want to know what seller credits are? Something we haven't seen a lot in the marketplace in the last five years or so, and why they're such an important strategy for you? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's get to it. Welcome to the Thriving in the San Francisco East Bay channel. I'm Rich Fleming, your local realtor, and I'm here to teach you everything you need to know about living, working, playing, sleeping, eating. You know the drill. In the San Francisco East Bay, I get a ton of people who reach out to me with questions about how to move here, how to relocate here, what they need to know before they get here. And I absolutely love it. That is why I do these videos. So if you've got questions, you know what to do, drop me a text, give me a call, send me an email, because when it comes to helping you relocate to the San Francisco East Bay, I got your back. Now in today's video, we're going to talk about seller credits to buyers when the buyer is purchasing a home. And this is a tactic, a strategy that we really haven't seen much of in the last five years or so because it has been such a hot seller's market and buyers have had very little power to negotiate with sellers. But now that the market has definitely cooled and moving more back towards a normal balanced market, you as a buyer have more influence and have more ability to negotiate. And one of the best strategies you should consider is asking the seller to provide you with a closing cost credit. And if you don't know what a closing cost credit is, we're going to talk about that. So let's get to it. So let's start with what a closing cost credit is. And this is a situation where you as the buyer go to the seller and say, Mr. Seller, I'd like to purchase your home for X number of dollars. And as part of that transaction, when we close, I would like you to transfer or give me a credit of Y dollars towards my expenses of purchasing the home, such as expenses such as lender fees, prepaid closing interest, things like that. And you can do this strategy instead of asking for a price reduction or in conjunction with asking for a price reduction. But we're going to talk about why asking for a closing cost credit is such a powerful tool for many people. So the best way to do this is I'm going to go through an example here. So let's walk through the assumptions of the example. And we're going to assume that the price of the home is a million dollars works out well for the numbers. I can do that math pretty easily. We'll assume the current interest rate is 6%. Uh, your closing costs are about 2% of the purchase price of the home. You're using 80-20 financing. That means you're bringing in 20% as a down payment. The lender is gonna provide 80% of the funding in terms in the as a mortgage. Our fifth assumption is that the cost to buy down your mortgage interest rate from 6% to 4% is $20,000. And many people don't know that you can approach your lender and ask them to give you a lower interest rate if you make an upfront payment now. And this is going to get to the heart as to why a closing cost credit is so powerful. We'll assume your annual property taxes are 1.25% of the purchase price, and we are going to assume you plan to own the home for 10 plus years. So we're gonna look at two options of what you could do when you're purchasing this million dollar home. So what if you go and you see the million dollar home, it's been on the market for a while, and you say, you know, Mr. Seller, I will purchase this home uh, but I'd like you to reduce the price to $950,000. And the seller says, hey, you know, I need to sell this house. It's been on the market for 60 days, so I'm going to take your offer. So the price is reduced. You have that mortgage interest rate of 6%. You need a 20% down payment. So that's going to be 20% of $950,000. That's $190,000. Your loan is going to be 80% of the 950, so that's $760,000. And when you plug that into a mortgage calculator, your principal and interest payment is going to come out to be $5,445 a month. And your property taxes, 1.25% of 950,000 divided by 12 months. So that's gonna give you about $990 Per month so your total mortgage payment is going to be 6435 per month so in summary you're going to need cash of 190,000 for that down payment and you're going to need 
$19,000 for your closing costs. So your total cash you need to come in with to be able to complete this transaction is $209,000. Now let's look at a second option. Let's look at the option of, hey, you find this house for the same house. Uh, it's been on uh, the market for a million dollars. And you say, hey, Mr. Seller, I'd like to buy that house and I will buy it at a million dollars but I'd like you to give me a $40,000 closing cost credit. Seller says, hey, that's fine. It's, it's, I'm losing $10,000 less than I would be under option one, so I'm gonna go with you. Well, you might say, hey, why would I want to do that as the buyer? Well, we're gonna get to that. So the price remains at a million dollars, but you reduced your mortgage interest rate down to 4% by buying it down. So you take 20,000 of that $40,000 closing cost credit you're going to get and buy down your mortgage rate. So when you do that, you're also going to need a $200,000 down payment because that's 20% of a million. The loan amount is going to be 80% of a million. So that's $800,000. So compared to option one, your down payment is larger and your mortgage is larger. But stay with me. But because of the lower interest rate, when you plug that into the mortgage calculator, you're going to get a principal and interest payment of $48.48 a month. Now your purchase price is higher. So your property tax, 1.25% of a million dollars divided by 12, 12 months, is going to give you $1,042 per month. But your total mortgage payment is now going to be 58.90 per month and your cash requirements are that two hundred thousand dollars that you need for your down payment and you need twenty thousand dollars for your closing cost ah but don't forget you've used twenty thousand of your forty thousand dollar credit to buy down the interest rate guess what you're going to use the other twenty thousand dollars for for your closing costs so your out of pocket net closing costs are zero because the seller is paying those for you. So your total upfront cash to purchase this house is now $200,000 as opposed to $209,000 in the previous example. So let's compare the options. With option two, your mortgage payment is significantly, what most people would consider significantly lower than under option one. So in the first year, you save $6,540. In 10 years, you save $65,400. And over the 30-year life of the loan, you save $196,200. The other aspect to consider is that your out-of-pocket cost to close under option two is $9,000 less than under option one. So which option is better? Well, I don't want you to think that asking for a closing cost credit is always the better solution. It isn't, but it is a strategy you have to consider. It's a strategy you need to do the numbers on to see if it's better than just asking for a price reduction or if you should do some combination of price reduction and closing cost credit. It depends, that's what I'm trying to tell you. And what, are, what does it depend on? Well, you probably want to ask for a closing cost credit the longer you plan to be in the home. You also want it when keeping cash now is very important to you because you can use a closing cost credit to reduce your out-of-pocket cost to purchase a home now. So if you wanna keep that cash, a closing cost credit helps you do that. The greater the interest rate buy-down that you're trying to achieve, the more helpful a closing cost credit is to most people. And an interest rate buy-down is very important or it makes a lot more sense for people who have a long-term plan to be in the home. I would say a minimum of five years, definitely beyond that, five, 10 years plus, reducing your interest rate is a very powerful tool. Final thing is that using a uh, mortgage buy-down through a closing cost credit can actually help you qualify to purchase a more expensive home. So as an example, if under a 6% interest rate for a mortgage, you only qualify for a $900,000 home, but with a buy down of your interest rate to 5%, you can qualify for a million dollar home. Well, now you've just changed the types of homes, the, 
the, the price point of homes that you can look at. So that is an important strategy because it can enable you to buy down your interest rate and increase your buying power. So the more important these four factors are to you, the more likely it is that you're going to want to consider asking for a closing cost credit from the seller. So if you've got any questions about anything I covered in today's video, drop me a text, give me a call, send me an email, because that's what I'm here for to help answer your questions. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button so YouTube knows to show it to other people with interests similar to yourself. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you know each and every time I drop a new video and I'll catch you in the next video.